Fucking then today at work, fucking. So we're working at like uh, Inland Concrete. They're like one of the big, yeah. biggest concrete people in Regina, right? And so we've got like this work to do in their in their uh, in their bay. Essentially, it's where the trucks go in to get water and and whatever the fuck they're loading in. Cause like some, okay. you, you can make different kinds of cement. You can make it with sand. You can make it with rock. Yada yada. Yeah. And uh, and so we've got work to do in there, right? And so it's like, it's like they don't want it. Not only do we not want to have to work on weekends, but they also don't want to have to pay us like double time. Cause if we're if we're working weekends, it's double time. And so it's like they don't want to have to pay the extra. We don't want to have to come in. Um, they don't want to have to stay late, so it's like, how, how, how do we get this done, right? Like, how do we, you want us to get this work done, how do we get it done? And so, like, today was just, like, bullshit. It was like, so, a truck would come in and fill up, and then we'd be sitting in the bucket truck, and then that truck would leave, and then we'd hurry up, and then unstrap the bucket from the truck, he'd hop in, he, he'd go up there, try to get some work done, and then as soon as a truck would come up to, like, a truck was ready to load like he'd have to come down we have to strap the truck down turn the bucket off go out let this guy load and then so we're, we're heading back in and we're doing this one thing and he's like uh where's the nipple it's like uh you know what a thread is a nipple would be like a connector it, it just connects two pipes and so he's like where's where'd you put the nipple yesterday because i went and grabbed it blah 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 and uh and i'm like uh, I don't know. I don't remember picking it up yesterday, to be honest. And he's like, "Well, did you throw it in in the bucket truck?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I'll go have a look, man." And then like, so we're like looking for, it, and he's like, "Fuck! Like, we've already wasted 15 minutes, and another truck's gonna be here any minute." And I'm like, "I don't know, man. Like, I've looked everywhere. I've looked under things. I've looked in places where it definitely wouldn't be anyways. Like." I don't know where it is. And I'm like, you didn't take any materials to your van at the end of the yesterday? And he's like, well, I, like, I took a bag of screws and this and that. And I, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where it is, man. And so he goes to his van and he grabs his bag of shit. And then he throws it on the back of the van. And he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know where it is. It wasn't in my van. And then so he leaves and he's going to search through inland again. And I look in the, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I go look in the bag and it's fucking in the bag. <laughs> So he's like, so he's ta telling me that I'm I, like freaking out about how I lost the nipple, right? And so he, he comes back and I'm like, uh, I hold up the bag and I'm like, you're looking for this, right? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Where'd you find it? Uh, it was in the bottom of the bag, man. And he's like, oh, awesome. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, awesome. Like you couldn't just be like, oh, sorry for like fucking. Yeah, fucking excusing you and shit. Yeah. Exactly. And then so, uh, so I was telling him all day that like the trucks, like it was out of gas when I left the shop this morning and I don't have a gas card yet or anything. And, uh, cause I don't have my own vehicle yet. Cause I'm not a journeyman yet. End of the day comes and I'm like, blah, 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 like gas, blah, blah, blah. Am I, do I need to pick it up tomorrow? Okay. Well, it needs gas to know if we're using it tomorrow. Like it's and, like the gas tanks flashing at me now. Oh, okay. Well here, take the, take my gas card. Uh, there's a co-op card lock right beside the shop. Go gas up there. Oh, and uh, and we have like a compound so the, gate get, the gates get locked at night. And so I called up the shop just to be like, hey, leave the gate open. I'm going to drop the truck off and I'll lock up, right? That way John doesn't have to drive to the shop and open the gate for me. He can just go home. And so, yeah, I go to gas up and he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, sometimes the card's finicky. So like if, it, if it's not reading it, like just take it out and, you know, like rub the mag, mag strip and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And so I go there and I'm there for 10 minutes fucking trying to put it in at different angles. And it's like five o'clock and mom had Chinese food. And I'm like, I just want to go saying like, I'm getting one thing is saying incorrect card reading, like try again. And I'm getting another one that's saying this card's not connected to the network and and so like reluctantly i call my journeyman because like you don't want to be the guy who calls your journeyman to be like i don't know how to pump gas and so i call him up and i'm like hey man like like i've tried putting the card in slow i've tried putting the card in fast i've tried putting it in upside down i've tried putting it in at an angle i've tried licking it it's not fucking working and he's like oh what's it saying and i'm like well sometimes it's saying incorrect card reading sometimes it's saying it's not connected to the network 
And he's like, oh, oh, well, then maybe we can't use it at that co-op card lock. And I'm like, fuck. Like, he's like, well, don't worry about it, Ontario. Uh, which I don't even know what that fucking means. Take the van to the shop and worst case scenario, there's a jerry can. And I'm like, he's like, sorry for making you go there. Like, I'm like, whatever. Like, it is what it is. I'm getting paid for it. So I go to the shop. Fucking gates locked. So I call up John and I'm like, fucking gates locked. <laughs> And he's like, well, I just got home and I'm not leaving. So just park it out front and mum's the word. So I was like, that was fucking stressful three hours. That didn't need to be stressful. That's what I tried telling. Like, even like Lyle the other week, like he was caught, he called me up to tell me, like, cause my journeyman told me not to clean up this place because the owners of the apartment buildings they don't want to pay 130 dollars for us to clean when they can have one of their cleaners come in and they can pay those guys you know 14 dollars or whatever the fuck they pay him and so he calls me up and he's like he's like well he's bitching about some other shit and that turned out not to even be my problem uh, again and then he's like uh man like dude you can't fucking uh leave a place and just leave uh drywall dust and all this shit all over the floor and i was like oh sorry like uh i was just told to pick up my the screws and and uh, some that have the Avenue Living guys would be by to vacuum the shit up. And then he's like, no, like fucking, you get, you get over here and you clean it up. And I, I was like, okay. Or he, he was like, at the end of your day, uh, you come over here and you clean that up. And I was like, okay. So uh, I told the guy I was working with, I was like, I'm done. I was done my job anyways, but I'm like, I'm, I can't help you finish yours or take any material out. I got to go half an hour early here and uh, go sweep a carpet because I don't have a fucking vacuum. And I, I said to my journeyman, I was like, you know, had Lyle just called me up and be like, hey man, like I just noticed there that you'd left a mess and just talk to me about it and let me explain like, hey, Al said not to worry. And you know, just had a adult conversation with me i would have just yeah, fucking dude. i would have just fucking gone over there at the end of my day at four o'clock when my shift was done and i would have done it like free of charge i would have just swept it <laughs> up quick i it wouldn't have been a big deal <laughs> right it's like no one remembers anything we learned from school uh, yeah. treat the treat people the way you want to be treated don't make uh mountains out of molehills <laughs> respect isn't earned it's given